In this problem, we're using a limit comparison to look at the sine of 1 over n squared. And I'm using a limit comparison with 1 over n squared, and you'll see why in just a moment. So recall that the limit comparison test is that we take a ratio of the terms of the two series, and if the limit of that ratio turns out to be a finite number, then the convergence behavior of both series must be the same. Now I notice right from the beginning, 1 over n squared is a convergent p series. The p there is just the exponent on the n in the denominator, and if that's bigger than 1, then the thing converges, and you can prove that using the integral test. As n becomes large, 1 over n squared becomes close to 0, and the sine of 0 is 0. So this is a 0 over 0 indeterminate form. That means I can use L'Hopital's rule, but I'm going to have to take derivatives, so just a slight notational change here. I'm going to say the limit of these functions of integers is equal to the, the limit of these functions of real numbers. These generate all the same exact numbers at the integers n, but showing it as a function of real numbers makes it so taking a derivative makes sense. And because I have a 0 over 0 indeterminate form, I can use L'Hopital's rule, take the derivative of the top, and I get cosine 1 over x squared, multiply by the derivative of x squared. That's the chain rule. Well, x squared is x to the negative 2, so that gives me negative 2x to the negative third, or negative 2 over x cubed, and I get the same exact expression in the denominator. Those are going to cancel out, and I have the limit as x goes to infinity. Cosine 1 over x squared. Well, when x becomes large, 1 over x squared is 0, so the cosine of 0 is unambiguous. I get 1 out of this. Now, because this limit has gone to a finite number, it means both series share the same convergence behavior, but 1 over n squared is known to be convergent in advance, so therefore our original series converges. If you find the math content on Zach's Lab helpful, click on the Zach's Lab logo on the right to browse playlists and subscribe to the channel. I produce dozens of new videos per month, and subscribing is the easiest way to find new content. Thanks for watching.